Hey guys, it's Miss Bearfield and welcome to acrylic class. Uh, today we're going to be working on this cute little puppy as our uh, acrylic project. He is a white dog on a white background with something we haven't learned. And I've got him all drawn off on a little 8x10 canvas. You can use um, canvas panels, you can use acrylic papers, whatever you happen to have at your house. You could even do it in your sketchbook on your mixed media paper. You are going to need uh, either a filbert or a little flat uh, brush. You're going to need a container for water and you're going to need a palette. Now I don't have my foam plates here like I have at school, but this is a plastic coated paper plate. So it's paper on the other side, but it's plastic coated so I can use water on here. So you're also going to need uh, your white paint, some brown paint. I'm using burnt umber, which is one of the darkest ones, but we're going to lighten it up so much. And then I'm going to have a little bit of black on his nose and in his eyes. So that's all that you're going to need for this project. And let's get started. All right, class, uh, we always start off with a damp uh, brush, but you don't want it uh, drippy, so I'm dabbing it off on my towel. On my palette, I have a little bit of burn umber. You don't need much. I've got some white and a little bit of black. That's probably more black than we're ever going to need. And um, if you have a problem using a filbert, especially for the details on your um, eyes and around the... Um, the nose and, and things like that. You can always use a small round brush uh, for that. Thought I had one here, but you know, round brush is just round. But all the round brushes I have are very large. Look at that. So, oh, this one's close enough. We shall use it. Um, so, you can use just a small round brush for any of your details. So, hopefully, you have those at home. If you don't, um, at least you get to watch this and I hope we'll get together in classes and be able to um, to get these projects finished and that you get to finish your individual projects. All right, so this is our dog. Darn, went away again, there he is. So he has very little color in his body. And so we're going to be working with um, just the slightest amount of burnt umber to a whole lot of white. And we're going to make up this little neutral kind of color. Maybe just a touch more. Whoops. There we go. And this is going to be uh, adjusted throughout the project uh, as we are working so that you can um, make it darker around the face, uh, around the eyes, down the ears, uh, things of that nature. But this is going to be kind of our, um, our base coat colors. And we're just going to do every stroke we make in the direction of the fur. Now, if you look at your reference picture really closely, which I have provided in the email, you're going to see that um, the um, light is coming in from the top right over here. And so his muzzle is going to be the lightest color. And then um, you're going to uh, just kind of block it in uh, like we always do. And uh, we're just kind of getting rid of some of the white of the paper so that we know where the absolute whites are and where our... Um, where our middle tone values are. And that's what I'm putting in right now. And then we're going to add our darks and lift out our highlights with absolute white, uh, creating more fur. The top of the head is got a little bit of this and then it blends down in. We can always blend with the white uh, later as well. So I'm putting in a little bit at the top, but right in here it stays pretty white. Uh, look at your reference photo follow what you see not um not what you think underneath his eyes this little muzzle part of his nose is whiter so i'm just going to kind of uh draw in where i want his face to be just a little bit darker that's this middle tone value uh leaving his um, muzzle white it's very very simple underneath his uh chin there is also some uh um, middle tone colors 
and you want to make sure that you have um, each stroke that you make goes in the direction of the fur. So from the center here, it's pretty much going straight down. Anything on the right goes to the right. Anything on the left uh, is going to the left. So we're going to put in some strokes. There's a couple that go opposite directions that just make him look really fluffy and um, soft little puppy fur. He has a little bit coming down uh, the shoulder on the outside. This is the shadow side of the dog, so he's going to end up being a little bit darker on this side. He's a little bit darker up underneath the ear. It's not a lot darker than just the white of the paper, but he's definitely a little darker on this side. And over here, he just looks fluffy, and it pretty much just fades into the background of where the fur is and where the background is. You'll see that a little bit better in the reference photo that I have sent you. Now this ear, being on the shadowed side, I am going to put in this lighter color first and um, get my edges in the whole of the ear. Is there's just a little bit of white right in this area. Um, so we're going to just leave that the white paper and we're going to come back and, you know, paint it white um, underneath the muzzle on both sides a little bit. There is some little short strokes um, on here. And then we're going to darken our tone just a little bit. Now I have two sets of, of uh, bowls. Got these at the Dollar Tree <laughs> and there came two of them wrapped in a package for a dollar so I couldn't pass them up. Um, they're not super heavy but that way I can have a dirty water and a clean water. So I'm going to add just a little bit more uh, brown to some of this mixture making a separate little section and I go in with my next uh, darkest areas and that's going to be along the bottom of the ear here a little bit inside next to his face on both sides and then this ear that's more in shadow than the other side so at this point you're going to want to stay up on point and uh, make your hair strokes so that you can get um, you know represent hair little um, little flings going in the direction of the fur and it starts to come down here and you're leaving a little bit of that kind of eggshell color showing through the darker spots it is definitely darker right here where it seems like the ear is uh, curling on itself a little bit so it's kind of right in here so I'm going to give myself an idea of where that is and I'm going to pick up just a little bit more brown whoops get a little bit more on my brush and now we've kind of got the curve of that ear going uh, along his face on this side. Get my eyes on. Um, we're going to do the same thing. And then it's going to come out here. You can uh, either just blend it out with another, it's got to be wet, right? Uh, it, damp and blend that out from the shadow side of his face or um, you can clean out your brush if you only have uh, one brush. So we're going to soften all next to that ear. Some of these colors, some of the shadow comes right onto the ear itself and curves up into this space. So I'm just kind of using up the paint that's on my brush and I'm cleaning off my brush and then I'm just going to soften, I'm going to clean out my brush, soften these areas um, that are going back into shadow. And we're going to pick up the same color and go to the other side. And this is the um, shadow of the ear resting on his face. And by the way, you can pick this picture up on Pixabay. 
that is a, a, a royalty free um, photographers uh, website that they let you use pictures that they have taken um, um, pic you know their photographs and you get to use them for your art now you can't sell their photographs obviously that's their job but um, you can use them as reference photos and it's all um, royalty free and it's kind of kind of nice to not have to take every single photo of what you're working on um, and you can find interesting things that you never even uh, never even thought to paint um, there as well. All right, I'm going to darken up next to this line on the inside. Look at your reference photo. And we're going to get a little bit of the um, <clears throat> going back and forth between my lighter and my darker and adding in those um, shadowy parts in the fur. Sorry, I paused. This is kind of a watercolor technique, which I think is kind of fun. <clears throat> A little bit of shading on his forehead, both sides. This one's lighter, obviously, in the lighter side of the, the head. The um, nose and this part, I don't know if you can see these little tick marks that I just kind of drew some tiny little marks when I was drawing the, um, the dog out. Um, you can see where... I drew a line across the top of this nostril to this one so that they stay the same. Um, if you do a transfer for this, that's perfectly fine. And I'm not going to worry about those uh, lines inside like I worried about the lines on the outside and stuff of the dog because he's white. But the nose is black, so you don't really um, have to worry about that one uh, too much. But I also have on my palette here a little bit of black. And you always take the dark color away from the um, uh, from the pile of it and then you bring the lighter color to it in mixing you all know this by now so that you can get you can always make it a little bit darker but to make it lighter you have to go back and use a ton of white so we're going to mix up a little bit of gray just black and white in order to get um, this part of his muzzle in and right along this line which I'm lightening with my eraser a little bit from my pencil hopefully that paint is dry uh, I'm going to uh, make little short strokes uh, vertical so that it, it looks like there is um, little tiny white hairs uh, right on that line and what's really going to make those show up more is the bottom the top part of the mouth is black and so those little bitty white uh, marks are really going to show up better whenever um, we put the black in there the dark 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 gray and then we're just going to kind of tap it in because you want it to be a little bit textured not just a, you know like a solid swipe of gray and this is my undercolor. So you're probably looking at the picture going, well, it's a lot darker than that. It is. So I've got his little bow tie mustache on there. Clean out my brush. And I'm going to come back in and add a little bit more black to this mixture. Oh, dear. Make sure that you always get the water off of your barrel because when it rolls down into your paint, it's going to water down your paint like crazy. So I know I've been talking about that almost all year and then here I go doing it. Okay, so we're going to use this one. This one's too wet. Um, and we're going to come in and lay in uh, some darker tones so that you have light and dark and it kind of looks like little teeny, teeny, tiny hairs all over his little face. 
and um, this is the shadowy part underneath his nose. And there's going to be a little bit of just, you know, absolute black, but right now we're just kind of making it textural. You can go straight down. Uh, if you're if it's too thick, you can just go straight down um, with your brush as well. So I'm going to go back to that little bit lighter gray. And these are the little marks that are on his face that show where the uh, whiskers are going to come out from. So here we go. We're just going to put in just a little dot dot dash kind of kind of thing here. Doesn't have to be like um, you know. Don't take them very long. These are not the whiskers. This is just where the um, the hair is a little bit um, darker, and that's where your now you know where your whiskers are going to come out from. All right, I've gone back to the original kind of beige color, and on the bottom half of this jowl, it is definitely a little darker. So it's going into shadow here, so I'm going to put in a little bit of this uh, beige color along the edge, bringing that up into those um, little hash marks a little bit, or I mean uh, guidelines for the... There we go. I'm going to lift that back off. Clean off your brush, go to your clean water, and um, we're going to put in his mouth. We're going to need those same uh, dark colors that we used. It kind of helps everything all tie together. I'm going to get a little bit more black. Way too much. Let's just do this part right here. And this one is a little bit darker. Get all that extra color out of my brush. And um, we're going to skip a little bit of white space. And we're going to put in the darkest part. Yeah, I still don't think it's dark enough. Let's add a little more black to that. Hope y'all can see this and not too much of a glare. And um, we're putting in the hairs on, the, on his actual chin. So they're going to go vertical like this. Whoops. You want most of the paint out of your brush so that you can make little, little short strokes. And it kind of fans out just a tad. And then it gets lighter down here at the bottom. So you can either do that with more watery paint or go back to that lighter gray. All right, the blackest part in that area is the little line right here. So I just got a little bit of black on my brush and I'm just touching it into here and then I can just kind of fan it out just a, just a little bit. Little details but it makes it look so awesome. Okay, now at this point I think I'm going to uh, switch over to my little round brush and um, get some of these details in. I'll look real quick one more time. See if I have one that's nope. Angle, angle. Hmm. I have this really tiny one, but it's pretty ragged. Yeah, I don't know. We'll go back to this one. And we're going to use our uh, black on his nostrils. That is the darkest part of the dog's nose. Absolute black. And we're just going to follow our little lines and then it just fades off both sides.
like that. Then we're going to make us a pretty dark gray. So I'm just going to take just a little bit of this gray and uh, mix it with almost straight black, but it has to be lighter than the black I just put down in order to um, do the rest of his little nose. Whoops. So you can see his nose. The darkest part is right around as the nose comes from out into the light back underneath. So that goes right underneath this highlight and it curves on both sides. And then it gets a little bit lighter. So I'm just going to pick up a little of the white, mix it right here on the, I mean the gray, excuse me, not white. Pick up a little bit of the gray and blend that right there on the canvas itself. We're going to take that color on up around the top of the nose. I'm going to skip over the highlight at this point. And if you have a problem uh, skipping over that, don't worry about it. You can always go back and paint the highlight in. So this is the dark gray color. Using the little round brush. And this is kind of splotchy. Not a perfect solid line because you know, a dog's nose has got texture to it. So we're going to come back into the dark gray and just bring it on down around the nostril holes. And then right as I get to the black part, I'm going to leave this little bit of white right there. So the rest of this is dark. Let's go ahead and fill all that in. Okay, here I'm going to take a little bit of the light uh, gray color that we've made. And uh, next to the uh, nostrils, you'll see this little bit of light. That's the, the opening of his uh, nose going into the hole of his actual nostril. So we're going to put a little bit of uh, that lighter gray. If it blends too much, we can always go back and add a little white on top. So... Uh, I also put a little bit of the gray up here into this black space. And I'm going to darken up above those nostril holes just a little bit. It's not dark enough. And I'm going to bring that back around. All right, we're starting to get our little nose together, you can always uh, go back in and darken any area uh, you feel needs it. Just follow the pattern that you have in that reference photo. Where are the darks? So if it needs to be darkened up, which I think this side definitely does because it's more on the shadow side, and the bottom half does. There we go. So I like that better. There is a little bit of a uh, uh, a little bit lighter on this side. Whoops. <laughs> Only I would do that. So I'm going to get a, a kind of a medium gray uh, tone on my brush and put it on this side and on this side, on this curved part of his nose. That's not going to show up light because you know acrylic dries darker, so let's just make it a little whiter on those edges and then uh, blend it in. That's Remember blending is just barely touching the surface uh, in order to get your your blends to come out. 
So we're going to blend along these little light spots uh, from his nostrils entrance. Uh, blend that out into the dark as well. All right. We have our nose. Um, we are going to go back in and and uh, blend some of this out uh, as well. And I really want you to look at your uh, reference photo on that. But I'm going to do it with white, the absolute uh, white paint. All right, let's jump into our eyes. Nothing makes something look more alive than when you get the eyes in. So I'm going to start with the absolute black, uh, just a tiny little bit on my brush, making sure there's no water on uh, the barrel. And I'm going to uh, do kind of like the eyeliner on the eye. So that's going to be this particular line. If you get a smaller brush, this might go a little bit easier for you. And a little bit of hair. I'm going to get off most of this black. And I'm going to just do little short flings like we've done in other projects to get the uh, hair above his eye in that crease. So we're going to get that in there. Get a little bit more black. <clears throat> Coming in and doing his... Uh, Uh, that little part in the center where his um, where the skin of the eye meets the fur there and then his pupil whoa way too much paint and his pupil is this part um I don't know if y'all noticed but when I draw an eye I always make the white part the little dots see how tiny they are I draw them larger um, and we can always come back and put that, that, you know, using absolute white on top. But I always make them a little bit larger than necessary so that I can come inside of it just a little bit and leave those whites. I'll put my shadow of the eye on. And then I'm going to go back to my browns. And since uh, you can make, you know, the eyes any color you want... Uh, but just kind of, you know, keeping the, the palette limited for price reasons during this time. <clears throat> I'm going to um, just use the browns that we have. And I'm going to do the, um, the colored part of the eye. I'm just kind of tapping it in. You know, if you want to pull out a little bit of that black, uh, feel free to do that. And then this area right here is like a, a fold of the skin. You can still see the brown, uh, but it's mostly black. There's actually a reflection of uh, light in there. So I'm going to leave a little bit of space around, clean out my brush, and go for a little bit of that brown. It might go just a tad darker. Ooh, water on the barrel. Try that again. And we're going to put a little bit of that brown down underneath. I hope you can see the difference in the brown and the black. Uh, if not, we're going to go back in doing in some highlights and stuff. I'm actually going to make mine uh, brown a little larger. Because he is a puppy. He's going to have bigger eyes. Um, so I'm going to bring that down. Oh, too much water. Got a little bit too much water on the the canvas. So I'm going to bring that brown part of his eye down a little bit farther. And if you want to add, um, you know, a little bit other color, if you happen to have a brown that's got a little uh, red to it, sienna or uh, like a golden ochre or something like that, um, feel free to do that. Sorry, I'm grabbing white. I need to grab black. 
So I covered over a little bit of my pupil. So I'm just going to go back in and make that. pupil a little bit larger and it kind of fades into the softness of that of that eye. Yeah, he's starting to show up, isn't he? Now the area, um, I don't know if you can see this little pencil line right here, the area that is around um, the uh, the eye is a different color um, hair and it is a very very uh, it's it's very gray um, so this is the area around the eye that I'm talking about you see this little bit of a highlight I'm just gonna have to let that dry before I can come back in and put these uh, tiny little highlights I really hope you can see that um, so I'm gonna go back to my grays and because it's right next to the eye, there's my dark gray, I'm going to add some of this brown to it. I know that's adding another color, but it's going to work well for what we're doing. And that's going to be uh, right in this space. And I'm just kind of tap, tap, tapping, you know, how we make the little hair marks, um, little tick marks, almost like a, a kind of a fling. And we're going to put that down uh, below as well. Right up next to the eye. And into this track of the tear area. So I'm just kind of using the rough texture of the canvas itself uh, to get some of that. And I think I might have gotten it a little dark, even though I kind of like it. It doesn't match the reference. So I'm going to lighten that up just... Remember, water is your eraser in acrylic, as well as watercolor, <laughs> if it's still wet. If it's not, let it dry, and then uh, and then go back in. All right, let's get the other eye in.
I do believe that this eye is a little bit taller than this one. So I'm going to just go back and uh, lift up into that eye so it doesn't look like this one's kind of droopy. And I'm going to put a little bit of a highlight. It's kind of the very first color that I used in the fur. And I'm going to put it in on this uh, kind of highlight side of the dog's eyes. This should probably, uh, should probably go ahead and let it dry before we put that in. Putting this uh, really pale tan color into this black space just kind of makes the eye look like it's got a touch of blue to it. Kind of nice. I like that. This eye is definitely in a more shadowed side of the face than this eye. And there is actually only one highlight. And then there's this tiny little bitty uh, highlight in the center of the eye here. I think I got too white, so I'm just going to go over that. Just by touching it, you can pick up some of that color underneath, and it kind of lightens that. But I think I want to go ahead and add another eye uh, catch, just because I think it needs one. So this one has a big one here, and then one off to the side, so I'm just going to add another little one over here. Just so that it, I don't know, it equals it out. It's not in the picture. Do what you want to do. If you want to put one in, put one in. If you don't, you don't have to. All right. Well, we're getting a really good start on our dog. And all we're going to do now is go back and do some refining in the fur and um, uh, add our whites to the little white hairs uh, on top of all this brown. Here we go.
All right, guys, as you can tell, the more layers you do, the better it looks. I would probably go in and put in a little bit uh, more on the ears and a little bit more uh, on the light side uh, where it has some curve to it uh, as well. So you would literally just make up your brown and, uh, you know, make some of the lines not so uh, perfectly straight and then blend that in. Just kind of, whoops, fan it into what you already have and give it a little bit of texture that way on both sides. Um, I'm going to punch up a little bit of the gray in the eye on um, the left side. Give me a really nice light gray. Um, just because I think there needs to be a little something, something else going on in this eye. Um, of course, I'm going to blend that out. There's a very harsh line. You don't want any harsh lines in your your eye, actually. So, very, very subtle. And I'm going to put a, just a touch of brown to that. Oops, that's why. Try again. Starting to run out of space on my palette here. Just a little bit lighter. Um, on the shadow side of the eyes, kind of blend that into the uh, black part. And um, you can go back in and do any um, white highlights that you feel like you need to do. You know, it's not done until you're happy. And I want you to keep, uh, keep going on it. He's such a cutie. And um, just keep working on that. I think uh, this highlight in the in this part is a little too bright, so I'm just going to tone that down a little bit. I might even do this one a little more, just because it's on the shadow side of the face. And you can always come back in and put in some of those little uh, darker hairs that are around the the entrance, you know, the opening of of his eye, and. Uh, you know, kind of blending those in. Don't you love how I've used my finger as a tool every once in a while? <laughs> All right. Well, I think I'm getting down to the to the end of this guy, and um, I want y'all to have fun with him doing all this fun fur. I can't wait to see what yours has turned out like. Um, I want you to take pictures of those and send them to me. Whoops. Big droplet on his face. Right there in the middle. Let's get rid of that. All right. The very last thing is to really water down your white. You want it nice and inky, and you want to fill up your brush as much as you can without it being like a drip on the very tip end. And all you're going to do with that is create his whiskers, and you're finished. So we're going to uh, come into these little spots, and we're going to go out, staying up on point. Uh, don't... Um, Don't lay your brush down at all, or it's going to get fat. You get one that's too thick at the beginning. It's no big deal. You can always um, take the uh, water and take it out. You do have to make sure that your face is completely dry. And you're going to do uh, his whiskers. Notice that they very few of them go out. Most all of them are going to go downward. Just a touch more water. Very inky. So, he's got quite a few. Don't be afraid to put a bunch. I don't want to just see two or three. But if you get one that's too fat, uh, going across this brown areas where they're going to show up the best, 
you can just take your uh, water and take that on out. And I'm going to make it just a little bit thicker just so that they show up just a little bit more. Staying up on point. I have a bunch of them going down. I know that they're just, you know, hairs. But they are a little bit thicker than like our hair, you know, it's a whisker. So uh, don't be afraid if it gets a little a little thick, but these are gonna come way over. Some come off of the same stroke. Now that one's a little thick. So I'm just gonna back it up. Push on one side until it gets back up to the line that I want it to be on. Get some more paint. Make a couple more. Going down through all this area is what's going to make them show up. Whoops. Not enough paint. It's got to be thin enough to go a long distance so it's kind of a a really soft balance between getting it thin enough and getting it to show up as well. You don't want them to be uh, where they're like perfectly spaced apart or um, they're all the same length or you know it's not like their whiskers get a hair trim or anything like that so you're just going to put in a few whiskers you can um, come in if you have enough dark on your head I'm not really sure mine is but he's got just a couple right up here that's very thick on the end of the brush you want it very thin on the end of the brush and he's got just a couple up in here um, if you want to put those in, that one's a little low. So I'm going to back that one out. Get a little bit more. And come in here and then, don't know if that one's going to show up. Well, anyway, there's just a couple. So feel free to put those in. And uh, don't be afraid of them. Well, I just thought I was going to put that tiny little dot in there and then water ran down. I want this one to be the brightest. There we go. All right. We have our little puppy. We always sign on the bottom right. This is a shadow on the fur, and I'm probably going to continue to work on it, but this video is getting longer and longer, so um, I want you guys to... Uh, be able to go and paint without watching forever and you could always use this as a two-week tutorial because you know we usually get into a, a two-hour class is uh, uh, acrylic is a two-hour class so I'm gonna lighten that up I think I'm gonna bring that down a little bit to uh, to make it match. Yeah, I say I'm done and then you know me. <laughs> so I'm going to bring this hair on the outside down a little bit. Just keep playing with it. Make you some squiggly ones. Not sure too many of those showed up too well, but go back and forth between your small brush and your large brush and get all the detail that you want. And bottom of this ear is kind of in shadow. And it rolls over on itself here. <clears throat> well, I hope you enjoyed doing our little puppy. I can't wait to see what you guys did uh, for yours. You can always add more uh, little details, these little gray strokes and a uh, little bit more color uh, around, you know, play with it until you're completely happy with it. And you can play with the background. And can you imagine how white this guy's going to jump out if he had like, you know, a blue or a dark blue gray or something else? I was trying to keep it very simple for supply reasons. And uh, 
I hope that you guys had fun doing our little puppy dog. And uh, make sure you take pictures of yours because I want to see them. <laughs>